welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a massive tap call which has been quite long awaited. I've been kind of waiting for like deliveries to arrive so I can finally do it. I've got quite a lot to get through. Disclaimer, I've worked really hard for this stuff. It's not just been given to me, although a few things have been gifts from like Christmas and stuff. Um, so it's in no way like a braggy video. I just thought I love watching other people's hauls so why not do one myself? I'm going to start off with head collars. This head collar was a Christmas gift. It's the Lemure uh, Capella head collar in truffle. Uh, this is for Teddy, it's cob size. I've not actually tried it on him yet. I was thinking about doing a little reel to try on his different head collars and see what you guys think. So this is the truffle head collar. We also got this head collar from um, Olympia which is this black leather with the silver on it, which again, I've not actually tried on them yet. I really wanna give it a go and see what it looks like. Um, so I'll probably do that in a reel at some point. And last but not least, this is my favorite head collar ever. Um, I've wanted one like this for a while and I've looked online and they've all just kind of looked a bit like cheap and flimsy. So I saw this at Olympia and oh, I just love it so much. Um, I'm not actually sure what brand it is, I'll have to have a look, um, but it's just like a leather head collar and it says, I don't know if that's the right way for you guys, but it says teddy bear on it which I just love so much. It probably needs a bit of a clean because it's actually become like his everyday head collar. Because when I first got it I was like, oh this will just be for a special occasion, but now I'm like, well... I've not like bought it just to have it sat around so I'm gonna use it every day. Moving on to, um, I got a jockey school riding hat which I've actually wanted for a while. This was from Milbury Hill I think it's called. Um, it's the Charles Owen Junior, I think it's Young Rider Skull Cap. Um, I got the junior one because I don't think you have to pee like VAT and it still fits my head <laughs> really good. Um, so yeah, I got the junior, yeah, junior young rider cap and it's currently got my black Lemure hat cover because I've actually got quite a few hat covers now that I've not even been able to wear because I've not even had like the hat for it. So this has been really good. And actually, I feel like weirdly more secure in this riding hat than like my normal everyday one because I feel like it just fits my head like a bit better. Oh, just seen the size like well I think the size I have usually is like maybe like one centimeter too big maybe that would be why but oh yeah it's a really comfy hat and it wasn't that expensive either so if you're looking for an inexpensive good skull cap Milbury Hill is the place to look next up we have stuff that I've bought from HY Equestrian now uh, these were gifted I did have a couple of Beagle socks they currently are covered in my dog hair, which is rank. Uh, but this is like a pair that I have. So I got a green pair and I got a navy pair as well. And I love them so much because I actually have two beagles of my own. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might know that anyway. Um, so yeah, those are my socks and I love them so much. They're really like, do you know, like they're not too woolly. They're quite um, thin kind of things. So I feel like they'd be really good for summer as well. I also got from H, oh no, this isn't HY Equestrian. This is HKM Equestrian. I don't know if they're HY or not. Oh no, correction. These are HKM Equestrian. So yeah, I just got my words mixed up. So these are HKM and this is also HKM. So yeah, I got this from R&R, &R, the country store. Um, and I was actually trying this one on and like, an expensive, I think it was Holland and Cooper one, and I actually much prefer this one. Um, it's just like, uh, kind of like an ice blue riding coat with like the little logo on the side there, and it's got a hood as well. I actually wore this in one of my reels, my jumping one that I recently posted. Um, I wanted to wait until this haul, but I was like, I can't wait, I really wanna wear it now. <laughs> I feel like it's just perfect for this time of year where it's like, well, at the moment when the sun's out, it's not too cold. So, but you just still need that extra bit of warmth. So it's got like the padded bit on the inside and it's kind of fleecy and it's just so soft and I love it. So yeah, that's what I got from HKM Equestrian. Next up, I'm gonna show you some bargains I got from Facebook. So first up guys, we have the 
Beige Heritage Lemure Saddle Pad in Dressage Cut. Now, I've wanted one of these for a while. I really admired the Heritage Collection for a long time, and obviously, you can't buy it new anymore, so I turned to Facebook. <laughs> uh, some of these go for like crazy prices, but luckily, I was able to pick this up really cheap. So, I got this. I also got uh, the one in plum as well, uh, in again in dressage cut because I already have the close contact version of this but then I kind of went through a phase and I guess I still am a little bit of wanting all of my pads in like a dressage cut. Um, I don't really know why, I just felt like it maybe like looked a bit nicer on Teddy. I thought I was going to sell my other one but I've kind of gone against the idea now because I do kind of like it. <laughs> so I was wearing my other one on my last reel um, of me jumping. Next up, this rug. Now this is a bit of a random one because I wanted like a nice kind of cooler for Banksy for shows and like like fleece kind of thing. And I've really liked the top spec ones. Like. I feed top spec, I'm a massive fan of top spec, um, but unfortunately I don't have like a million horses so I'm never going to get the tokens I need to get the rug, but someone on Facebook was selling it so I was like, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> I think I worked out the cost and I think it would cost me like at least like two grand to actually buy enough top spec to get the rug for myself. So I was really lucky to find this. Um, I don't think it's ever been used. It's still new in its bag. Uh, it happens to be Banksy's exact size, which is perfect. So I cannot wait to use this at shows. I've not actually got it out of the bag yet, so this is exciting. It's really, really soft and it feels really good quality. Horseware Island. So it's actually a really, really nice cooler. Um, really good quality. Yeah, and it's still got its tag on, so it's brand new. Absolute bargain. I don't know if I have any more Facebook buys. Um, I do have another Facebook bargain to show you guys. So I follow the Lemure Discontinued pages, and I found this on there. This was before the mint actually came back in stock. Um, so I know the mint has been really sought after for a while. Um, and the X extra small size kind of sold out for like forever. Um, and this girl was selling one on there. So I got the extra small base layer uh, for like next to nothing. And the logo's kind of like faded away a little bit, but that's fine. Like I'm not really bothered about that. So I've got the base layer now to match my saddle pad. And I also have the hat cover. Woohoo! So I can't wait to use those. Next up, we have um, another fleece. Teddy is actually grown. Um, I initially thought that him and Banksy were the same size. He's not. <laughs> so he's actually like a six foot, six foot one. So from Derby House, I bought the, guys, I really cannot spell. I can't, I can't pronounce this. Schmuck, schmuck, schmuck. Kamul? Shkokamul? Is that how you say it? I have no idea. I thought I would save unbagging it for this video. So let's have a look. I got the navy one because I just thought it looked really, really nice. Oh my god. This looks so nice. Guys, look at this! Look at this! Woohoo! I've wanted a really nice quality fleece for him for so long. Um, the one he currently has is like too small and it's from Amazon. It was like 15 pounds, but it just wasn't like great quality. Like when it's washed, it kind of like just comes apart. So this looks really, really nice quality compared to what he's had before. Um, so yeah, it's got the nice fur around the collar. This will definitely just be for our shows this year for when we're out and about competing. I'm gonna save this as like his best rug, I think. But I will show you guys the bag just so you know what brand I'm actually on about because I probably haven't helped situation. So I probably sound like a right idiot, but yeah, that's the brand. So I've decided to have a go at an affiliated show jumping with Teddy this year. Um, which I wasn't really that bothered about before and now my confidence has gone up a little bit I really want to give it a go and I've been a fan of this brand for a little while now And I feel like this will look really really smart on Teddy. It's the Olvosa 
saddle pad um, just in like navy and silver. I feel like this will look really, really smart. It wasn't expensive either compared to other brands and it still feels really good quality. And I really like the cut as well. It's got like the little strap there for the girth. It's got the straps here. So I think this is gonna look really smart for our first show. Also needed for our first show, a show jacket for show jumping. So I actually don't have one. I actually went to R&R, &R, the country store, where I got some other bits. And I saw a really nice jacket there, but it was just really expensive. And they didn't actually have my size in. So I needed an extra small and they had a small and it was just too big. So I was like, hmm, I'll just look online and see if I can find it. And I found it 100 pound cheaper online in my size so this is the jacket that i got it's again that brand that i literally cannot pronounce um schmuckle sports anyway uh it's like the emile show jacket i think it's called um oh my god it's got a mark on it already just really really like it i've not actually tried it on yet but i'm sure i'll be fine I'm really excited to use that we have our first show penciled in for this month i also got some white breeches from r and r because i don't actually have any um for show jumping and these are lemure ones let's see if they have an actual name just says lemure pull on breeches elasticated waist I got a size smaller than I usually am because I do like to size down with breeches, especially if they don't have like um, a button at the top because I just don't want them like slipping down, you know? So yeah, these actually feel really, really nice quality. Um, they were slightly cheaper than the other ones in the store, but I actually preferred them. So I cannot wait to give these a go. So excited, guys. One thing I did buy um, recently was my first equestrian stock home purchase. This is the pad. I feel like it matches my hair really well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, it's got like the cute little, I've completely blocked out my face, but so I hope you can see this, but it's got the cute little, um, like gold bit on it. I just think it will look so, so nice on both boys, to be honest. So I got this. This is the bag it came in. Um, matching that, I got the bandages. Now, I'm not really a bandage kind of girl, mostly because they just take up time. But I just thought these look really nice for like some pictures. So I got these to match the pad. I might become a bandage kind of girl, who knows? Um, you don't know until you try. I also got these Equestrian Stockholm just black socks because they were like kind of cheap on there. You can never get too many socks when you're riding. Something else I got from R&R &R is my favourite brand of treats ever, the Lick It Snack Pack. Now this has, I've not actually opened it yet, which the boys aren't going to be happy about. Um, but it's got three lickets. It's got apple, banana, and cherry. Now they've currently only had like apple out of this. They've not had the other one. So it'll be interesting to see if they like them. I feel like the banana one was gonna be so, so cool. So I cannot wait to give this a go. And to go with it, I've also got Teddy the Boredom Breaker, which I am so excited to put up in the stable. And I'm gonna make a little reel showing you guys what he thinks to it. I really wanna get Banksy the, um, I can't remember what they call it, but it's like a the boredom one that kind of like goes on the wall. It looks really cool and I really want to get that. So, but for now I've got this for Teddy and I am so excited to use it. Another thing I got from Lick It was from Hyperdrug and this is the Rainbow Lick It Carousel Tin, which is limited edition and I feel so, so lucky to have got one of these. It's so, so cool. Like you've got the rainbow treats inside, which are perfect. And I use them for shows with Banksy to like try and like make him stand still. <laughs> They're really, really handy. Um, and you've also got the rainbow lick in there, which I am so excited to try. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to put that in the room as well because I am just so excited. And the tin is like the cutest thing ever. Have you seen this tin? I'm just gonna keep this tin forever. And it's just really good to store stuff in. Oh, I just love it. I love it! Next up, this is stuff I got from eBay. So first up we have a bridal. This is like an everyday bridal that I bought for Teddy. Um, it was actually recommended to me by my friend Amber AVT Equine on Instagram. If you don't follow her, you should. So yeah, this is just Havana. It's got like the little flash at the bottom and it just looks really, really nice quality, but it was so inexpensive. Um, so I'm excited to try this on him. I feel like it looks a lot more comfortable than his bridal at the moment. Um, so yeah, gonna have a nice everyday one because 
His one of the moment is a John Whitaker one and I wanna just have like, kind of like a cheaper one as like an everyday, like a work bridal. So I'm gonna give this a go. Um, I'm not actually sure what brand this is. I will link it below if you guys want to know. But yeah, I'll probably get some pictures of him and this and put them on Instagram. Okay, next up we have from Amazon and eBay. This was from Amazon, just like a packet of laundry bags and I'm gonna put them, um, I'm gonna put my rugs in them. Uh, I also bought from Amazon this Renapur tack cleaner which I'm really excited to use because my tack needs are really good clean and you guys on Instagram recommended this to me so I can't wait to try it. I also just bought some kitchen cloths to use along with this from eBay which is the gold label leather and saddle soap which again I cannot wait to use. I'm going to use this and then the tack cleaner afterwards because my tack knees are really good clean after hunting. <laughs> Next up I'm going to show you some stuff that I got from Blackheart Equestrian. So this is stuff that I got from Olympia. I got this base layer which is a limited edition one. Um, and it's like a leopard print black colour and I just absolutely love it. It's got like the little um, diamantes on the back, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I got that. I also got this base layer which I think was also a limited edition from Black Heart, again from Olympia. So I really really liked the camo print and actually I've been looking for like something camo print for a while so I was really really happy to come across this. I was like yep, yeah, I'm getting that. <laughs> So I actually got both um, riding tights to match the base layers. So I got the camo ones and I also got the leopard print ones. Both of them have um, foam pockets in the side, which is just so, so helpful when you're out on a hack or you're just riding in general. It's just so, so nice. Um, they're really, really lightweight. They're really flattering. They're high-waisted. I just love them so, so much. They're actually my first pair of Blackheart Equestrian um, riding tights and I really rate them. I also ordered these online from Blackheart Equestrian recently because they've restocked the lavender, which I actually saw on someone's Instagram that I follow and I really, really liked the colour. So I'm just opening these now. Oh, it comes with a cute little thing. Thanks for purchasing. Oh, Oh, I love that. Um, oh my god, it's got little sweets. These guys know me well. <laughs> so, oh my god, look at this colour, guys. Look at this colour. Oh my god, I love it so, so much. I'm definitely going to get some content in these and show you guys what they look like for real. I cannot wait to try these on. Okay, next up. I actually missed this off. I got this cute little um, bobble hat from Olympia, um, a Lemure one. It's a bit gross because, well, I've kind of used it a lot. <laughs> so, but I really, really like the colour, so I thought I would show you guys that. I got this from LW Equine because I've been looking for a really nice um, bridal for Teddy for workers. So, I got this. I really like the feel of it, and it's a grackle one, which I've not actually tried on him before. So I really can't wait to try it on. It's got a really nice little fluffy bit there, which I just think looks so, so cute. So I'm gonna try this on and hopefully he really likes it. Another thing I got from um, Amazon was this lunging aid. Um, because I've been the persoaring the boys, but to be honest, I just find it a little bit of a ball ache. So I'm gonna give this a try. It's just a Shire's simple lunging aid. As I've seen quite a few people using now um, and seem to be using successfully. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how it works on my boys. And last but not least, guys, because <laughs> my phone is probably going to die. I have these boots from Lemure. They are the Comfort Leather Boots. They're like a brownie kind of colour with the stitching. And they have like um, the faux fur on the side. And then I also got these to match, which are the back boots. And then... Last but not least, <laughs> they're the Derby Pro Jump Fetlock um, protection boots and they are the Lemure in medium. Um, they're just for like his back uh, feet really to protect him when we are jumping. I'm not really sure if I will use them or not. I'll probably, um, I'll probably have a jump on him at home and see how they feel and then 
Um, I've heard that sometimes it can make them like pick their back feet up more over jump, so it might be quite helpful at shows. So we will have a look. I'm gonna use these and see how I get on. Okay, I think that is everything. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. If you made it to this part, I'm very grateful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you. Um, if you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram or comment below and comment anything else that you wanna see. I will see you in another video soon. Thank you.